And we continue our Veggie Fest talk here with Ellen Jaffe Jones, who is an author, a vegan chef, and a personal trainer. Welcome, Ellen. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, thank you. Um, let's start by uh, talking about the vegan myths. Uh, you are known for myth busting. So share with us uh, a few misnomers and myths about taking on the vegetarian diet. I've been a vegan for the better part of 35 years, and I also, during that time, watched my mom, aunt, and both sisters get breast cancer. We were part of the original breast cancer gene studies, and I'm the only healthy adult in my family. And I kept thinking, somebody really needs to crunch the numbers on every single recipe, you know, just by getting ingredients at any big box store and showing people how ridiculously cheap it is to eat on a vegan diet. So that's where the idea for my first book came up. Uh, eat vegan on four dollars a day and it's really true if you get rid of the meat and dairy and you exchange it for beans and grains you have plenty of money left over to buy the produce the fruits and the vegetables so that was myth number one the amount of protein that you're able to get on a vegetarian diet compared to a meat eating diet um, yeah, you get plenty of protein, and that's probably myth number two, and I'm an athlete. I just competed in the National Senior Games where I got third in the U.S. in the 4x1 100-meter relays, fifth in the 1,500 meters and the 400 meters, and um, I have placed in 118 5K races that are longer since 2006, just on plants. So I get plenty of protein, you know, there's no shortage of protein and people always worry about that. And you mind uh, sharing with us how young you are? 65 I will be in November. So a vegan diet and aerobic exercise in my opinion are magical and I've just seen so many people recover their health. I often joke I win my age group just by showing up because women who used to beat me like crazy 10 years ago in 5k races they are not running anymore because of the arthritis in in their back, their knees, their feet and a vegan diet is very anti-inflammatory, so it's kind of like you don't need to carbo load for uh, a, a, a marathon because vegans are already doing that.